Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Scenario TV. I'm John. I'm here for another transfer daily recap where I'll be giving you updates on the latest transfer news and rumors going on at AC Milan. Now, let's start off today with some updates regarding the Roberto Soriano situation. As reports were flowing in this morning saying that Milan and Sampdoria had found a deal for the midfielder. That was mentioned that the two clubs have found a deal at 10 million euros and that Milan could pay this price in two installments. Along with this deal, Nocerino will be going Sampdoria's way as part of it and that there will be a meeting tomorrow in order to finalize the details. Now, Sampdoria's president Ferrero came out moments later uh, after these declarations were made saying that there won't be any meeting with Milan tomorrow uh, despite the news coming from Milan Channel. He also said that if Milan paid 20 million euros for Bertolacci, then they could easily pay 25 million for uh, Soriano. Now, if you're not aware of who uh, Ferrero is, of course, the Sampdoria president, He's a funny character, and let's be honest, his mind is not always there. So, um, personally, I wouldn't believe him up to 100%. I think there's still a chance or there's still something that we all know that is going on and that Soriano will end up coming to Milan uh, sooner or later. However, what do you guys think? Will Milan end up getting Soriano in the end or will they go for someone else? Now, moving on, Gazzetta dello Sport is actually reporting that Musa Sissoko remains the alternative for Soriano if he doesn't arrive, and he could cost Milan around 15 million euros. Now, would you prefer Sissoko or Soriano? Personally, I will go with Soriano because, of course, he's had experience in the Serie A, he knows how the league works, amongst other factors such as been playing already under uh, Mijalovic, so he would adapt much faster than any other midfield in my opinion. Sport Italia is reporting that Mijalovic has decided to keep Paletta and that Milan is hoping to sell Alex and Zaccardo. Now, in my opinion, it would be kind of tough to sell those players because, let's be honest, the offers have arrived for them. However, in the end, it's up to the players to decide if they want to accept the deal or not based on wages, contracts, and so forth. So right now, it's not looking like they will be leaving just as of yet, but anything could change from now on until the end of the Mercato. Sport Italia is also reporting that Jose Mauri does not want to leave the club on loan and that he'd rather stay and fight for his position. The player has been linked to joining Carpi. Finally, it seems like Agazzi will be finally leaving for good. Malaga was heavily linked to the goalkeeper all summer round. However, it seems like he will be joining Millsburg as uh, the negotiations are at an advanced stage and a deal could be closed soon with Milan according to Sky. That wraps up today's Transfer Daily Recap. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Rolson Area TV to stay updated with everything AC Milan on a daily basis as we update you with everything going on at the club. This has been Gio, signing off for Rolson Area TV, and as always, Forza Milan. We could expect something starting from Monday as it will be the start of the last week of the Mercato.